Dave Rubin has gone full Fox News idiot conservative. Here he is yucking it up with uh, one of the biggest Republican radio host clowns, Mark Levin. Something happened. What happened to the JFK liberal? What happened to ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country? I mean, really think about that statement. JFK, who was a liberal Democrat, although he did want to get out of wars, which is now not something Democrats want to do, and he also did want to reduce taxes, which is certainly not something Democrats today want to do. But ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. That is 180 degrees absolute opposite of what Bernie and all of the Democrats, including Joe Biden, say now. They say, oh, we can give you this. We will give you this for free. We will artificially raise this wage. You will get free education. You will get free health care. And that's the reverse of actually what true liberalism is. So it, for me, it's sort of a debate on do I want to keep trying to save the word liberalism and show people that classical liberals are, are actually modern conservatives? Or do I just want to say, hey, I'm a conservative now? That's more of a semantic argument. But no, liberals were not always like this. The woke totalitarian uh, progressive ideology that has now destroyed almost all of our cultural institutions, our educational institutions, certainly our political institutions institutions, it, that is a, a relatively new phenomenon that was brewing at the academic level, and then it just burst forth into, into society. Oh, where do you begin with this stuff, man? He's just insanely dumb, and his narrative is incredibly simplistic. The JFK thing was the thing that got under my skin. He said, oh, JFK's famous quote, ask not what uh, your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. He's like... <laughs> Bernie and the lefties flip that, and that's unacceptable. Then he goes on to say, see what I mean? They're asking what your country can do for you. They want you to have, like, free health care and free education and stuff, and that's what your country does for you, not what you can do for your country. You know who else was in favor of free health care, universal health care? JFK. So, <gasps> he used... The quote, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. He said that while also being in favor of the government still doing basic things like providing health care for all of its citizens. See, he's just, he's, he's so simple-minded, this guy. Like, you read one quote and you think that that's like, totally encapsulates the ideology of somebody who was president. Like, you can't possibly be that dumb. And, like, the notion that he's arguing here is, let's have the most literal interpretation of that quote that we possibly can, which would be an argument against any and all government services, period. Because you can interpret that. Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. If you want to be super literal about it, you can say, this means the government shouldn't do anything ever. That's obviously not what he meant! That's clearly not what he meant! He was for universal health care. Like, how can you be actively hostile to basic government services? And he is. And he is. It's, like, super basic to say, hey, let's have roads, let's have bridges, let's have police, let's have infrastructure, let's have free education, let's have free health care. This is super basic stuff, and he thinks it's a sufficient argument to slap it all aside simply by bringing up the JFK quote when JFK himself believed in many of these basic government services. And, like, the self-importance, too, is do I want to keep trying to save the word liberal? You ain't saving dick, son. You're embarrassing yourself. That's what you're doing. And I always like the dumbest... Like, listen, I'm a political commentator, so of course I talk labels from time to time as well. It's like par for the course. It's just going to happen, right? But nobody talks more about labels than Dave Rubin without ever defining his terms. Have class, classical liberal, conservative. Like, he just loves to throw around these labels, and then nobody ever, like, goes one layer deeper and say, just define what you mean for me. Does anybody think if you ask Dave Rubin to define socialism, for example, that he can give an accurate definition? Do you think there's any way he could get it? There's no way in hell he can get it. And then, by the way, I love the seamless transition from, 
Um, so he's talking about like economics and free healthcare and free college and artificially raising wages, which by the way is a shot at the whole existence of a minimum wage. Whole existence of a minimum wage. But then he, he makes the seamless transition to his pet issue, which is this woke totalitarian progressive ideology. Okay, you do understand that there's a difference between social issues and like wokeism and economic populism or social democracy, basic government services. He tries to link the two. So, like, if I can sour you on the woke totalitarian progressive ideology, so if you say, hey, man, on the social issues, these people go too far, they're too censorious, they deplatform too many people. He wants, hand in hand with that, he wants you to think, obviously free college is stupid and free healthcare is stupid. Duh. He's trying to link those two things when there is no connection whatsoever. None. None at all. <laughs> there are plenty of people who are for free college and free healthcare and a higher minimum wage, who are also like, yeah, I'm against deplatforming people and I'm for free speech. It, it's, just, it's so lazy and it's so sloppy and there's no there there and I can't believe anybody watches this and takes it seriously. I mean, Mark Levin is one of the dumbest commentators on the planet. He's really bad. He's terrible. Um, and Dave Rubin yucking it up with him. The full transition has been fascinating to watch. You know, the full transition from like... I'm a lefty to, pff, I'm like an enlightened centrist. I'm a classical liberal to like, all right, I'm fucking conservative, but I'm going to keep saying the other labels in the hopes that maybe I can confuse some more people into thinking I'm making sense when I'm not. Oh, imagine using that JFK quote to like besmirch all forms of government. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. I actually, I actually agree with both. Like, I agree with, no, you should ask your country to do for you. Why? Because you're paying them taxes. Like, what do you want to do? You want to pay taxes and then not have them provide basic services? So you want the government to rob you. Hey, take my money and give me nothing in return. Is that what you want? No, if you pay them, and you do, if you pay taxes, that money should go towards intelligent things, and you should prioritize. But no. He's, he'll use that JFK quote to pretend like JFK uh, would agree with Dave Rubin on what's good and what's bad and what government should and shouldn't do. I'll tell you what, son. I don't think JFK was full Bernie, but, like, he was a hell of a lot closer to Bernie Sanders than he is to your dumbass.